today we were going to take our Junkyard 5.3 liter LS and put our top end package on it, run it on the engine dyno and show you how much power it makes and what an effective package we've built here at Titan Racing Engines. But plans change and right now what we're doing is getting a pro stock engine ready to go for NHRA Indy. So on the water brake dyno right now is an NHRA pro stock engine that we just got in for service. They were in a tight spot, needed to get a repair done on it and get it serviced up and ready for this race. We jumped in, helped them out. It's not our engine, it's not our combination. All we did was do a nice refresh on it and get it rolling. In this case, it's uh, Thursday, a little after one o'clock, and this engine's going to be in an NHRA Pro Stock car at Indianapolis, uh, going down the track about 6.30 tomorrow night for first round qualifying. So one of the benefits of Titan Racing Engines is we can actually empower you to do that. Get a real dyno number, get the baseline done for you so that your tuner can pick it up and get you going down the track. So this is not our engine, this is not our program, so I can't show you any of the details of this engine. But suffice to say, it's 500 cubic inches, I got a 10,500 RPM rev limit, and let me show you what a real pro stock engine looks like that we can show you. So this is a Titan Racing Engine's 500 cubic inch pro stock engine built for the European Pro Stock Series. A couple minor differences between the two, first being the European Pro Stock Series still runs carburetors. Our NHRA Pro Stock engines are fuel injected. Also, the fuel is unleaded oxygenated in the European series. It's leaded and unoxygenated in the NHRA series. But otherwise, these engines are, are quite similar. But what you'll see with these engines, this is a 500 cubic inch engine, but it's quite large. You've got a dry sump system on it. Uh, this particular one's got a belt drive uh, distributor set up on it. And then uh, these nice oil pans. And you'll see lots of billet components, but what you never get to see is what the manifolds actually look like. We can show you that on this one because it's not restricted and it's not proprietary. But these manifold runner lengths are very important and we're trying to hit a very specific horsepower number. We don't talk about that very often because it doesn't uh, do any of our clients any favors to know what kind of horsepower we actually make. But suffice to say, this engine is making a little bit more than the one we have on the pump in there. And after we get a chance to do some development work with this engine in the future, we'll have it making the same or more horsepower than this one. This is a little bit of a short one, but we're thrashing in 30 hours. This engine's gonna be in a car going down the track, qualifying in Indy. Check back, like, and subscribe. We'll let you know how it did, and we'll see what the Titan Racing Advantage really is.